today on MTG Unpacked, we're taking a look at the Final Commander 2020 deck that is Symbiotic Swarm. So this is a white, black, green deck, also known as the Abzan Color Combo. And you can see like the others, we get a giant card here, which is disturbingly popping out of here. So hopefully it's not damaged. All right, so choose your commander, carve your path to victory in this unique multiplayer magic format. So it's probably one of the most popular formats. We get a deck box, 100 card deck with 17 new cards, 10 double-sided tokens. Of course, you get the oversized foil, life wheel is new, strategy insert reference card, and 24 counters. Okay, so I don't think the other boxes had the counters. So that is very curious. We'll see what we've got in here. These boxes go for about $39.99. I think the supply is still a little bit short uh, due to some factory shutdowns. So you might have trouble finding these. Okay, so this thing is a little bent out of the box, but still does not appear to be dinged up. Okay, so we'll crank that lighting a tad. We have Cathril Aspect Warper, legendary creature, nightmare, insect. It's a mythic. Three, three, four, five mana. So when it enters the battlefield, put a flying counter on any creature you control if a creature card in your graveyard has flying. Okay. Repeat this process for first strike, double strike, death touch, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, and vigilance. Then put a plus one, plus one counter on Cathril for each counter put on a creature this way. So that actually seems pretty fun. Um, if you look at the rankings so far, I think my favorite deck here is the Timeless Wisdom. Um, Enhanced Evolution look pretty cool with the Mutate mechanic. So I'm curious what we have here. Now this box will only hold unsleeved cards. So you won't be able to sleeve everything up and put it in there. You'll need a proper deck box. Here's the little counter, life counter. So you can see it only goes to 40, so not so useful if you have a life gain deck. And let's check out this poster here. Symbiotic Swarm, how to play the deck. So it's talking about wide variety of creatures, plus one, plus one, and keyword counters to train and grow them into unstoppable killers. Interesting. So we have Cathril Aspect Warper, Tayam Luminous Enigma. And then we've got a pair here, Nikara, Lair, Scavenger, and Yannick, Scavenging Sentinel. So then we have a bit of info about Commander Rules. So it's a singleton, 100 card format. You start with 40 life, and you can read a bit more about that there. As I said before, one of the most popular formats. Here is Cathril, Aspect Warper, Tayam, Luminous Enigma, and this fun pair here. Nikara and Yannick. So we'll take a look at them momentarily. So let's get into this deck. And if you've missed the other videos in the series, I'll pop a link up in the corner. You can check it out. All right, so there is a little tab here that's proving to be rather stubborn. I'll get it eventually. There we go. Okay, so here's the little pop-out counter card. So you've got Flying, Trample, Death Touch, Flying, Vigilance, plus one, plus one. Menace, First Strike, Hexproof, Lifelink, and Reach. Okay, so I like that ability to just give things different abilities there. So let's pull out the lands here. I'm trying to separate everything out. Okay, so we've got a bunch of tokens. Pop that there. So I like to keep these out of the main flow of the video, get them out of the way. Okay, and then usually there's some more lands in here. We'll take those out. So which of the decks has your eye so far? Are you thinking about maybe picking this one up? I'm sure you'll have a better idea once we've actually gone through it. Okay, so we'll pop these here. And take a look at these cards. Okay, so we've got stacks of tokens. All right, we have Cathril Aspect Warper. It's a mythic. So this is the smaller version of the giant size card we saw a moment ago. 
Next up we have Tiam Luminous Enigma, Legendary Creature Nightmare Beast, another mythic, 3-3 three, three for 4. So each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional Vigilance counter on it. Pay 3, remove 3 counters from among creatures you control, put the top 3 cards of your library into your graveyard, then return a permanent card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Alright, another mythic here. Nakara, Lair, Scavenger, Legendary Creature, Human Cleric, 2-2 two, two for 3. So this one partners with Yannick, Scavenging Sentinel. So when this creature ends the battlefield target player, we put Yannick into their hand from their library, then shuffle. And it has Menace whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield. If it had one or more counters on it, you draw a card and you lose one life. Okay, so tons of counters in this deck, I would expect. Yannick, Scavenging Sentinel, Legendary Creature, Hyena Beast. <laughs> Does that have antlers? What is happening here? 3-3 three, three for 4. So it partners with Nakara, Lair Scavenger, has Vigilance. When Yannick enters the battlefield, exile another creature you control until Yannick leaves the battlefield. When you do, distribute X plus 1 plus 1 counters among any number of target creatures where X is the exiled creature's power. Fair enough. Okay, so we've got a Spirit... Bunch of spirit tokens actually. Uh, that's surprising. Okay. Then we have insects, flying, and death touch. I think these tokens are worth a buck or two, so we'll find out that during editing. Alright, so let's get into it here. We'll take a look at the mana base. So we have some rare lands, starting off with a canopy vista land forest plains. You can tap for green or white. And Spadafield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Caves of Quelos. Add one colorless mana or you can tap for white or black. It deals one damage to you. So another rare there. Exotic Orchard. Land tap to add one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. Gavany Township. Tap for colorless. Pay two green and white. Tap with a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Okay, so we do want to get those counters here. That's cool. Grim Backwards. Tap for colorless mana, pay two, black and green, tap, sack a creature, draw a card. Sungrass Pe Prairie, so it's land, pay one, tap, you can add green and white. Okay, Blighted Woodland, we've seen this one before, tap, add colorless mana, pay three, green, tap, sack it, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. And a staple here, Command Tower. So land, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Next up we have the Golgari Rot Farm. Enter the battlefield, tap when it enters the battlefield, return land you control to its owner's hand, tap for black and green. Crozan Verge, enter the battlefield, tap, so you might get the idea here to upgrade this, you might want to replace with lands that do not tap. So this one, tap for colorless mana, pay two, tap sack it, search library for a forest card and plains card, put them onto the battlefield, tap then shuffle your library. Memorial to Folly, another tap land for black, and you get to return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Myriad Landscape, so another one tap, add colors, mana, pay two, tap, suck it. Search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Ores of Basilica, so this one enables you to return a land uh, you control to its owner's hand. When it ends the battlefield, tap for white and black. Sandstep Citadel, so this is white, black, or green. Celestina so Sanctuary, another tap land. Uh, you get to return a land you control to its own sand tap for green and white. Blossoming Sands, green or white, and this one you gain one life when it ends the battlefield. Evolving Wilds, so basically lets you search for a basic land card. Jungle Hollow enters tapped, so you can gain one life, tap for black or green. Same deal for Scour Barons, white or black. And then Basics, seven Plains, seven Swamps, and four Forests. Okay, so moving on to the deck proper. Let's take a look. So they've grouped all of the rares and mythics together. We have an Avenging Hunt Bonder as the first rare creature, Human Warrior 3-3 three, three for 5 with double strike. Whenever it attacks, put a double strike counter on another target attacking creature. Okay, this is sounding fun already. 
Cartographer's Hawk, Creature Bird, 2-1 for 2 with flying. So when it deals combat damage to a player who controls more lands than you, return it to its owner's hand. If you do, you may search your library for a planes card, put it onto Vitafield Tap, then shuffle your library. Vitality Hunter, Creature Nightmare. What the heck is that? I guess it's a nightmare. 3-4 four for 4 with lifelink pay X and 2 white. Monstrosity X. This creature isn't monstrous. Put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it and it becomes monstrous. And when Vitality Hunter becomes monstrous, put a lifelink counter on each of up to X target creatures. Daring Fiend Bonder. Creature human warlock. Yep, warlock. 5-1 for 4 with haste. Attacks each combat if able, pay one in black, exile it from your graveyard, put an indestructible counter on target creature, activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Okay, so lots of counters here of all different kinds. Netherborn Altar, artifact for two, so tap, put a soul counter on it. You get to put your commander into your hand from the command zone. Nice. Then you lose three life for each soul counter on Netherborn Altar. Okay, so it gets more expensive each time with your life total. Obscuring Haze, instant for three. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. Nice. Prevent all damage that will be dealt this turn by creatures your opponents control. So I think these are worth a few bucks. All these are basically free cards, free spells. Selective Adaptation, Sorcery for six. Reveal the top seven cards of your library. Choose from among them a card with flying, a card with first strike, and so on. Four double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, mana, switch, trample, and vigilance. Put one of the chosen cards onto the battlefield, the other chosen cards into your hand, and rest into your graveyard. Okay, that one is a mouthful. Slippery Bog Bonder. <laughs> Creature Human Druid. 3-3 three, three for four with flash and hexproof. When Slippery Bog Bonder enters the battlefield, put a Hexproof counter on target creature. Then move any number of counters from among creatures you control onto that creature. That is a fun ability. Nesting Grounds. Okay, so we have a land here. Tap to add colors. Mana pay one. Tap move a counter from target permanent you control onto another target permanent. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Put that in the land pile. A Chroma Angel of Wrath. It's a mythic, legendary creature, angel, 664, 8 mana, with flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black and from red. I think we'll be highlighting this one in a future commander snack video. If you've missed that entire series, we go through different commanders each episode and go hunting for creatures of the same tribe. So I'll pop a link up in the corner to that playlist if you want to check it out. So this is a legendary creature, Angel 664, 8 mana, with flying, first track, vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black and from red. Quite a smorgasbord there. Angel of Finality, creature, Angel 344, with flying, when it ends battlefield, that's all, all cards from target player's graveyard. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, it's a mythic. Artifact creature construct, 4-5 for 5 with vigilance. So when it enters the battlefield, each player chooses an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker from among the non-permanents they control, then sacrifices the rest. And I'm guessing there must be a planeswalker in this set as well. I'm wondering who it could be. Calumnae's Captain, Creature Giant, Soldier 5-5 five, five for 5. I like that artwork there. Vigilance, 5 and 2 white, Monstrosity 3. And when it becomes monstrous, exile all artifacts and enchantments. And we've seen this guy before in one of the other decks, Odric Lunak Marshall, legendary creature, human soldier, 3-3 three, three for 4. At the beginning of each combat, creatures you control gain first strike until end of turn if a creature you control has first strike. The same is true for flying, death touch, double strike, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, sculpt, trample, and vigilance. So he would fit right into this deck with all those different types of abilities. Revel Arc, Creature Elemental, 4-3 for 5 with flying, so when it leaves the battlefield, return up to two target creature cards with power 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And it has a Voke, 5 and white, so you can cast a spell for its Voke cost. If you do it, sacrifice when it enters the battlefield. Next up we have Solemn Recruit, Creature Dwarf Warrior, 2-2 two, two for 3, Double Strike, Revolt. Beginning of your end step, if a opponent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on Solemn Recruit. And another angel here, Sunblast Angel, creature angel, four, five for six with flying. When it enters the battlefield, destroy all tapped creatures. 
What is happening here? Together forever! Enchantment for two, so when it enters the battlefield, support two. So put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures, okay. Pay one and choose a target creature with a counter on it. When that creature dies this turn, return that card to its owner's hand. Nice ability. And a dirty big dinosaur here is a Talpa Primal Dawn, legendary creature, elder dinosaur, 4848 mana. With flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, and indestructible. Of course, he is in here. Can Wanderer. I think this was uh, reprinted in the Mystery Boosters. Creature Shapeshifter 4 4 for 5 with Changeling. This card is every creature type. What? As long as a creature card with flying is in a graveyard, Can Wanderer has flying. The same is true for fear. First strike, double strike, death touch, haste, land warp, lifelink, protection, reach, trample, shroud, and vigilance. All right. Ever after, sorcery for six, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Each of those creatures is a black zombie, in addition to its other colors and types, put ever after on the bottom of its owner's library. And another mythic, Soul of Innistrad, creature avatar 6646 mana with death touch, three and two black, return up to three target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Pay three and two black, exile it from your graveyard. You get to return up to three target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. So I'm a huge fan of Innistrad, so this one looks very cool. Soul Flayer, Creature Demon, 4-4 four, four for 6 with Delve. So each card you exhale from your graveyard while well, casting this spell pays for 1. If a creature card with flying was exiled with Soul Flayer's Delve ability, it has flying. Same is true for First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Hates Proof, Indestructible, Life Length, Reach, Trample, and Vigilance. So you're seeing all these sorts of cards here with the different abilities. Hornet Queen, Creature Insect, 2-2-4, two, two, what is that, 7. With Flying and Death Touch, when it enters Battlefield, create 4 1-1 one, one green Insect Creature Tokens with Flying and Death Touch. Nice. Oh, this one, uh, what is he from? Arrow of Devastation, I think. Majestic Myriad, Creature Chimera, Star Star for 5. So its power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of creatures you control. And at the beginning of each combat, it gains flying until end of turn if you control a creature with flying. And you know what's coming next, don't you? Same is true for first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, and vigilance. I'm going to run out of breath pretty soon. Splinter Fright, creature elemental, star star for three with trample. So its power and toughness are each equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Beginning of your upkeep, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. So I'm also noticing a lot of graveyard synergies here, which is interesting. Abzan Ascendancy Enchantment for three. So when it ends the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And whenever a non-token creature you control dies, create a one one white spirit creature token with flying. Okay, so we've got tons of those tokens. Ah, Ajani Unyielding Mythic. Legendary Planeswalker Ajani for loyalty for six. Is plus two, reveal the top three cards of your library, put all non-land permanent cards revealed this way into your hand, and rest on the bottom of your library in any order. His minus two XL target creature, its control against life equal to its power. Minus nine, put five plus one plus one counters on each creature you control, and five loyalty counters on each other planeswalker you control. So this deck has a journey. I'm liking it more and more. Okay, next up we have Archon of Valor's Reach. Creature Archon 5 6 for 6 mana with flying, vigilance, and trample. It enters battlefield, or as it enters battlefield, choose artifact, enchantment, instant sorcery, or planeswalker. Players can't cast spells of the chosen type. Nice. Another mythic Dead Bridge Chant. Enchantment for 6 when it enters battlefield. Put the top 10 cards of your library into your graveyard. Whoa. Beginning of your upkeep, choose a card at random in your graveyard. If it's a creature card, put it onto the battlefield, otherwise put it into your hand. So it's a good thing we have those other cards there that fill the graveyard as well, or pull things out of the graveyard. June Blast, Sorcery 4-7, choose up to one creature, destroy the rest. Nice board wiper there. Karametra, God of Harvest, it's another mythic, legendary enchantment creature god, 6-7-4-5. With Indestructible, as long as your Devotion to Green and White is less than 7, Karametra isn't a creature. And whenever you cast a creature spell, you may search your library for a forest or plains card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. So we've got a god in here as well, that is pretty cool. Mimic Vat, artifact for 3, has imprint. 
So whenever a non-token creature dies, you may exile that card. If you do, return each other card exiled with Mimic Vat to its owner's graveyard. Pay three, tap, create a token that's a copy of a card exiled with Mimic Vat. Gains haste exile at the beginning of the next end step. And that is it for the first half of the deck. Then we'll take a look at the rest here, mostly commons and uncommons. Bonders ornament we've pretty much seen in every other deck so far. Artifact for three. You can tap to add one mana of any color, and that's probably why. Pay four, tap each player who controls a permanent name. Bonders ornament draws a card, which may be everyone, pretty much. Arcane signet, another auto include. Artifact for two, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Another auto include. Commander's sphere, artifact for three, tap add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. You can suck it and get to draw a card. Does this card need any explanation? Soul Ring, artifact for one, tap to add two colors mana. You're gonna want this in pretty much every commander deck. Swift Foot Boots, artifact equipment for two, equipped creature has hexproof and haste, equip for one. And actually leave a note in the comments if you actually have a commander deck where you are not using Soul Ring and why not? Blood Curdle, instant for four, so this is one of the Ikoria cards. Destroy target creature, put a menace counter on a creature you control. Unbreakable Bond, sorcery for five, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a lifelink counter on it. I stand by my assessment that Ikoria is basically Pokemon with huge beasts. So there is the Pokemon trainer, there is the Pokemon. Leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree. Next up we have Void Beckoner, Creature Nightmare Horror, 8848 eight, with Death Touch. Cycling two and a black. Uh, when you cycle Void back and I put a Death Touch counter on target creature you control. Titanoth Rex. I think there's a Godzilla variant of this huge dinosaur beast. 11, 11, 4, 9. Whoa. With trample, cycle it for one and a green. When you cycle it, put a trample counter on target creature you control. Martial Impetus, Enchantment Aura for three. Enchant creature, Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one and is goaded. So that means that attacks each combat if able and attacks player other than you if able. Whenever enchanted creature attacks each other, creature that's attacking one of your opponents gets plus one plus one until end of turn. And we've seen this guy as well. Parasitic Impetus, Enchantment Aura for three enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two and is goaded. Whenever enchanted creature attacks its controller loses two life and you gain two life. And we've seen this guy. Predatory Impetus, Enchantment Aura for five enchant creature. The Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus three must be blocked if able and is goaded. So a whole bunch of goading going on. Aerial Responder, Creature, Dwarf, Soldier, 2, 3 for 3 with Flying Vigilance and Lifelink. I think he was from either Kaladesh or Aether Revolt. Ooh, nice artwork here. Unburial Rites, Sorcery for five, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, which is great because we have a bunch of cards to stuff the graveyard. Has flashback three and a white. You may cast this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then exile it. Vampire Nighthawk, creature vampire shaman two three for three. Flying death touch and lifelink. Acidic slime, creature ooze two two for five with death touch. So when it ends the battlefield, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. Cultivate, here's another nice one. Sorcery for three. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal and put one onto the battlefield tap and the other into your hand and shuffle your library. Harmonize a sorcery for four, draw three cards, simple and effective. This is another cool one. Secure a tribe elder, creature snake shaman, one one for two. Sack it, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. I think that's one of the few commons worth over a buck. Satyr Wayfinder, creature Satyr one one for two, so when it enters the battlefield, with the top four cards of your library, you may put a land card from among them into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard. There we go, more filling of the graveyard. Skull Winder, creature snake, one three for three, and he's sort of shadowed there, that's pretty spooky. Death Touch, when Ants Badfield return target card from your graveyard to your hand, then choose an opponent. The player returns a card from their graveyard to their hand. Okay, next up we have Abzan Charm, instant for three. Choose one, exile target creature with power three or greater. Draw two cards, you lose two life, or distribute two plus one plus one counters among one or two target creatures. Death Sprout, and I had to look, yep, Seb McKinnon, 
that artwork style is recognizable anywhere. Instant for four, destroy target creature, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. D Spark, instant for two, exile target permanent with command mana cost four or greater. Grizzly Salvage, instant for two, reveal the top five cards of your library. You may put a creature or land card from among them into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard. And we've got a Nyx Weaver here. Enchantment Creature Spider, 2-3 three for 3 with Reach at the beginning of your upkeep. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Okay, more stuffing the graveyard here. One black and green, exile it, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. And, okay, <clears throat> okay, I thought we were done, but there are more of these little punch-out counters. So what do we have? Double Strike, Hexproof, Trample, Lifelink. Okay, so pretty much everything you will need. And these don't seem as sturdy as the ones I saw earlier. They had some thicker cardstock in, uh, in the regular booster packs. So that's interesting. Okay, so this deck actually looks pretty good. I'm more impressed with it than I thought I'd be. Um, so my final rankings, I think... Let's see here, Timeless Wisdom with the Cycling looked pretty cool. Um, probably the Flying Shark tipped that over the edge. Although uh, Cycling, you've got to wonder what are you cycling for. So maybe, maybe not quite as good as I think it would be. Um, enhanced Evolution looked fun with the Mutate mechanic. And of course this one... All the different counters you're putting on things looks like a game changer. The only thing is that it looks like it could be fairly complicated to keep track of everything. So let me know in the comment section what you think, which of these decks is your favorite. And if you cannot make up your mind, you haven't seen the other videos, you might want to check out the playlist. I popped that up in the corner earlier. And stay tuned, we've got a whole bunch more Ikoria unpackings coming up on the channel. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.